gold sellers have came back to Classic WoW. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys would have been playing the game for the last couple of weeks or so, would have seen these requests to join channels with a website URL in the channel name. Now for the first few weeks of Classic WoW's launch, we didn't have this as an issue. But in the last few weeks or so, it has been getting more and more intense. These websites are of course selling gold, and they'll usually have some kind of URL that explains that it sells gold. Now of course in this video, I'm going to be blurring the URL. I'm not going to give these guys any advertising, and at this stage, I've seen quite a lot of different website URLs that have been advertised in this way. So this must be quite an effective method of selling gold. Now, if you look at the characters that are sending these channel invites, these are all level one characters. So what must happen is that one of the guys running these websites would create a bunch of accounts and subscribe for a month or so, knowing that they'd get banned eventually. But it must be profitable enough that they do it anyway, knowing that their accounts will get banned. Now going onto one of these gold selling websites, the prices are pretty steep. This site is selling a thousand gold and Feralina for £247 or about $300. Now I don't know about your guys' finances, but $300 is quite a lot of money. I can't imagine ever buying $300 worth of gold, but the fact that they sell it shows that some people buy it. And remember, a month of WoW subscription is only 15 bucks. So all these guys have to do is create a Blizzard account, buy a month of WoW game time for 15 bucks, and they can advertise their URL for the gold selling website to tens of thousands of players before Blizzard get round to banning them. All it takes is one of those tens of thousands of guys to buy just 50 gold from them and they have broken even. In reality, they probably make a lot of sales through this method due to how many people they spam with these channel invites. It's quite a profitable way of advertising when you think about it. And the fact that this is getting more and more common, this past week I've been playing on Feralina and pretty much every 15 to 25 minutes I've been getting one of these spam messages. So this must be very effective. Now you can disable this by going into the interface menu and clicking on the social tab, then highlight block chat channel invites. And if you do this, nobody will be able to invite you to a chat channel. So after doing this, you won't actually get to see any of these spam invites, at least while you have this highlighted. Gold sellers always come up with these weird and creative ways to advertise their websites. Back in the day, they used player bodies to create website names and basically just spam a chat in a city. Now in 2019, we're pretty much in the same position that we were in, just the methods have changed. You never see this in the retail version of the game. And that is mostly due to the fact that there is a WoW token, which is kind of like Blizzard sanctioned gold selling. So it kind of killed the gold selling market in the retail version of the game. But in Classic WoW, there was a lot of money to be made. I mean, you just saw a thousand gold for 300 bucks. That's quite a lot of money to be made. I have even been getting offers for me to do ads on gold selling websites on this channel. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. But I get a lot of emails from these guys saying that they're gonna pay me some money if I advertise their gold selling website, which is just a really stupid idea. Since if I do that, my channel is going to probably get taken down and more than likely would see legal action from Blizzard. So it's really insane that they even ask. But the fact that I get so many emails from these guys show they're pretty desperate to get eyes onto the website. So what can Blizzard do about this? I think a solution to this problem is to have some kind of level requirement to invite people to chat channels. Say you had to reach level 20 before being able to invite a player to a chat channel, that would make it a lot harder to do this method. Since then, not only could they just create a level 1 character and just spam everybody on the server, but they had to reach level 20 as well. That way, they would have to employ someone to level that character up, and it would basically just increase the cost of business. It wouldn't stop this method, but it would make it harder. Or maybe they could put some kind of limitation as to how many people you could invite to a chat channel in a certain given time. I think there's quite a lot of ways to prevent this that I don't think Blizzard have done yet. And it's getting kind of annoying when you're just trying to play the game and multiple times in an hour you get invited to these spam channels. And it seems like the more populated a server is, the more of these spam invites you get. But yeah, if you're thinking about buying gold, I highly recommend that you guys don't. Aside from the fact that this is against Blizzard's TOS, and if you buy gold, you have a chance of getting suspended by Blizzard. Not only that, but these guys are negatively affecting the economy of a server. These guys basically just inflate gold prices, and everything just becomes more expensive for normal players. The way that these guys acquire gold is also really sketchy. These gold selling businesses acquire Acquire gold in some very bad ways, and I'm not just talking about farming devil sores. Historically, these guys have been known to hack accounts where they would basically log into your account, sell all of your gear to a vendor, and then send the gold to one of their characters, basically leaving your character with nothing. 
and this happened quite a lot back in the day. They are also known to be using exploits and hacks to get gold in the game. These are guys that you don't want to support with money. Farming your gold yourself is going to take a long time, but at least you know that you don't have the risk of suspension or getting banned by Blizzard, and that you're not supporting some really bad businesses. So hopefully Blizzard does something about this because the situation is getting kind of ridiculous at this stage. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. This is Volti, signing out.